Hey everyone, it's Adira and Steffi. Hello. And it's storming, which is very normal. <laughs> <laughs> We're in small land and we are crossing our fingers and hoping uh, for all things ever that they fix the storming and the darkness and the nighttime and oh my gosh, yeah. too much rain and too much darkness. So anyway, we're not going to talk about it anymore in the video. I, I complain the whole time that we're off camera, but I won't complain anymore. <laughs> so what, today's video, we are so excited. If you watched the last one, we talked about we were we need the manda, mandibular, mandibular? Mandible. Uh, mandible from the ant, the red big red ant. In fact, there's one right behind us. We came and found it so we wouldn't have to have you sit through all of us looking for one. And we need one more, and then we can make the pick, and we can yes. get stone. So we're so excited. So we did make us some wood, wooden swords. I'll show you. And we don't think they're really much better. Um, yeah, they're not. They're, so the, the club does 8 damage. The wooden sword does 10. But we're not noticing much Yeah, 8 to 11 difference. edge damage. Do you have a club in your inventory? I, I do, don't yes. have one. What does it say is the edge damage on the club? So on the club, I believe it's 6 to 8 blunt okay, so damage. Okay, see this says 8 to 11 edge damage, but I think those those beetles take blunt damage is the best. So I'm thinking that's why the, the wooden club does better damage on those. It kills them faster for sure. Yeah. So the ants now, man... We killed one a while ago, and it took like two hits. So yeah. So these, if you walk up to it, yeah, where these is? are the oh, bull ants, and they do show a sword. Yeah. So, and, but we killed one already and didn't get any mandibulas. Yeah, we got an Mandibles. ant head. Okay, ready? Ready. Let's go. So right click does your basic hit, and then left click. No, I'm sorry. Reverse that. <laughs> Right click does your critical hit. Left click does your just regular basic hit. So we only have one mandible. You know what? I think we have one of those at home, Steffi. We should have paid attention. Oh. Um, but we need one more to make our pick. So we're headed over here. We thought while we're looking for them. So we also need look to at the map, Caleb is one of the people that the elder said to go visit and he would help us. And see if, yes. they, if these people had any clue to what, where, or why, or how, or what's going on. Because we need to help the queen. So we want to go down and visit Caleb. We're right above his base. It's right down here. Um, and I don't know if we can get down safely. We might have to go down one level. But we might can get down there. Uh, if we slide. So this is above the burrow. This, that's actually the burrow No, this there. isn't the burrow. This is Caleb's staff. Oh, it is? Yeah. So, we're Holy go, cow! We, <laughs> we want to go talk that to fast. And we need to find a way to get down without killing ourselves. So, I think... Yeah, a while ago, I thought I was right when I, I saw these roots and I thought, is this the level? And I was wrong. Uh, so, we you went above. right! Yeah. Okay. So, just make your way safely down. If you could see, that would help. I know. I'm not going to complain, though. Okay. So... Does a torch help? There we go. Um, oh. Oh, gosh. Here's an ant. Oh, this is just a regular old carpenter ant. So, Caleb's situation is he is ahead of the mining corporation or business over here. And they had a terrible accident and the mine caved down in on them. Here, which he'll tell us. Just go talk to him. So, we're going to go over here. It's I'm not going to say it. <laughs> okay. Let's do this and make our way up here. And we're going to talk to Caleb. He's got him a nice roasted mushroom going on his spit. On his spit. Okay, so let's talk to Caleb. Uh, I am Corporal Caleb Stein. What are you doing here? I'm responsible for escorting and protecting small folk miner. What's the armor you have? It's one I made myself using rocks I found in the mine. It's incredibly durable and provides great protection against the creatures that you may encounter in the shore. Speaking of which, Skady has also fashioned some remarkable armor using resources 
from that area. And because we've tested, we know that is an important place to go. Yes. So we want to know if he can make one for us. We know he can't uh, because he needs stone. So the stone armor has cold protection of three. It has protection of two and piercing resistance, which is good from the hornets and things, I think. The bees. Yes. That'd be piercing. And then it's minus 2% on movement speed. So it's heavy and bulky, but we want to go ahead and have him make us a mask maybe, but we have to get the mandibles to make our pickaxes. So, yes. So we need that first. So we'll come back and do that and he'll make us a mask. So all of the armor is the same as far as the protection and durability. You just need different resources. And so you don't have to memorize or worry about it. Um, if you go, I can put away my torch. So if you go to your, if you do your tab and go into your inventory, up here, Codex, it will bring that up now that we've talked to him. See, here's Tristana. She's the lady with the bees. And here's Hearn. We talked to him coming out of the burrow. And see, there's our um, different padded bracers. That gives us nine cold protection. So you want, and I'm sure all of you made your, are going to make your uh, armor from, or have Hearn make your, very first armor because that keeps you warm. And so here's Caleb. See, here's his. Apparently, yeah. Oh, it looks like he's going to add more armor later. There's question marks. Ooh. And then we we need to go down and talk to Skatey and all these other things that we need to learn. All of those will be filled in. So you don't have to memorize or write anything down. It's all in your codex. And then the compendium is all of the things that you've talked to all the owls. If you ever can't remember what they said, but you have to talk to them first. Make sure and talk to them so that you will have this in your manual. And it's how to play the game. It's really cool. Okay, Steffi, you said you found another ant? Yeah, over here. All right, so let's look around here real quick. I want to check this out now that it stopped raining. Yeah, it's so cool. It is cool. Look I at all of these. how they have the, the leaves that have fallen mm. down for the roof. Yeah, this is the stone foundations. We're going to get this later. So here's a fellow wounded mine. Oh, we didn't we didn't end up talking to Caleb. We need to talk to him. So this poor fellow. One moment I was digging, the next I found myself buried under dirt and stone. Poor guy. Oh, I wish we could heal them. Wouldn't that be neat if we could? Yeah, heal I'll revive them. them. Oh my head! Did anyone else make it out okay? Oh, poor fella. And this looks like a watering trough of some kind, doesn't it? It does. That's interesting. I wonder if we'll have that, be able to build that. Let's finish talking to poor Caleb. We didn't finish. I was got into his armor. So let's ask him, what happened here? Why is no one working the mine? It was a tragedy. One of the tunnels collapsed and most of the miners perished. The mining operations are on hold for now. Darn. Do you know anything about stonework? I know a thing or two. To work stone, you'll need to build a cutter grinder. I think it's called a stone cutter. Yeah. Though. I don't think it's called a cutter grinder. We don't have the resources to make a proper one up here, but you may be able to craft a makeshift cutter grinder using some of the giant's artifacts like bottle caps and screws. So you can use it as a grinder to make seed oil out of seeds or sand wood to obtain refined wood. Heck, you can even cut flint and craft new weapons and tools. And that's what we are excited about. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Can I harvest these stones? Sure, but you'll need a pickaxe. Those are expensive. We're just not handing them out. You might be able to make one for yourself, though. You see, some of these ants, the red ones, have surprisingly strong mandibles. If you can get one of those, you can bring it to the workbench and try to make yourself a pickaxe from it. That would be useful. Where should I look for these red ants? They're in and around this entire forest, but after we shut down the mining operations, some of them moved into the lower portion of the mine just north of here. Be careful, though. There might be more in there than you can handle. I don't think we want to go, actually, in a cave of ants. <laughs> Do you that sounds scary. This is so cool. I love it. It has some very creative people. Must be nighttime. Okay, so we won't explore any more right here. Did you? Where'd you find that ant? Well, they're over there in the darkness. <laughs> uh -huh. Can we? I wonder if we can we 
I bet it's nighttime by now. Yep. So can we? I wonder if it'll let us build right here. Sometimes it won't let us build near the de the little Let's NPCs. Let's try. Yeah. If we could only get a couple of foundations down. Yeah, it will. Okay. All right. Perfect. Oh, I'm so glad we can. So, oh, that's awesome. Put up some walls. We only need enough room for two beds and some ceilings because you have to cover your bed. Okay, and we didn't have to put torches because there's torches already. So can you make you a bed or you want me to make um, it? I'm not able to make it. I, I'm missing... Okay. Perfect. I'm missing fiber. You're missing fiber. But it seems like we're doing that a lot lately. Okay, yeah. so this is our respawn point, which is bad because we're going to pick it up here in a minute. But we can sleep and maybe it'll be daylight. So we just can't die. Okay. No dying allowed. Yeah. All right. Let's um, pick this all up. I love it. I love it. I love it. The way they have done this where you just push C and it demolishes everything. And then you push F and pick everything up. Just hold down F. Okay, ready to... That should have given you some fiber. I should have let you pick it all up. Oh, that's okay. So now, let's kind of explore here a little bit. I don't think there's anything we... I don't think there's anything we have to see. But it's just cool how they did it. Yeah. It's so fun. I went over here and when I was testing and looked down, I wanted to see if, if we could pull this up or do anything with this. But <laughs> there's like a bottle cap in down in there. Isn't that funny? I don't know if I've ever actually been down where I was at that area. Oh, there's an ant. Okay, yeah, yeah I have been down there. There's lots Let's of Let's go ants. down there and kill that big ant. Come this way. Okay. Be careful. I'm not sure. I was there's always so, so careful. There's so many ants down there. But be careful because there's holes in these boards. I don't know if you can fall through. I haven't fallen through yet. Yeah. This is so neat, though. It is very cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, he'll push you off. Be careful. Yeah, maybe we should go further down. Yeah, let's ground. get that one that's on the ground that I saw. Yeah, how do we get down from... Um, oh, there's water down here there. We go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. This is so fun. Yeah, there's tons of them. If you want mandibles, come down here. There are so many ants. I'm glad now we have our swords because they're easy to kill with our swords. So, just make sure you're up. your health is really good. Yep, I have full health, full food... Okay, ready? Let's get nope. this guy. Okay, ready. He didn't even know I was hitting him. I got two ant mandibles. Okay, you let's, did? Yeah, let's go ahead and... Yeah. Oh, Very uh, cool. well, I unlocked an ant skewer. I thought I'd already made those, but I, maybe I'm remembering. Okay, let's go down and check out... So, where is that here? Right over here. This is that... It's got a, I think it's got a, a bottle cap. It, it does! What? That's, that's funny. so cool! Look, that goes Good eye! Up. That's so funny. That'd be fun if we could haul it up. Yeah. Make a thing like that and haul it. Be able to haul it up from our tree. So let's go down here and check this out. Let's kill this guy. Okay. That they have it all fixed so it doesn't fall in. Oh, is this the cave? Ooh, Ooh. let's go check it out. <gasps> oh, there's one. Man, this is so cool. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, what's this? Oh, a screw. What is that? What does that look like to you? Is it a battery? No. No, it's hollow. I think it's just like a part of a cable. A part of a cable, yeah. Oh, this is where it caved in, I guess. Oh, Aww. poor miners. Should, I let's wonder, go ahead. I, it's so funny, though, that they're doing mining. Let's go ahead and get these guys. You want to? Yeah. Oh, now they'll all come attack us. Do you think we can do it? Yeah. Okay. Well, they didn't come and attack us. Well, 
I'm glad of that. <laughs> if you have a couple near each other, they will, though. Oh, he got me. Okay. Yeah, boy, it helped. I can hear the echoing. Yeah. That's so cool. Was there anything... All these caves right now seem to have blocked. I bet they're going to open them later. That is so fun. So now we need to go. Do we want to go up to our big tree or stay down here? Yeah, let's stay down here because we need to go build our pickaxe. Let's go back to our little house over here and uh, we have to go up. Let's go back to our little, we, we have, if you watch the last couple of episodes, you saw we have a Middle Earth uh, <laughs> outpost. Right and, in the middle of the map. Yeah, and so we have a workbench here, but so we don't have to go back to our tree. So that worked out pretty good. Yeah, it uh, did. Oh my gosh. I we were actually long. able, uh-oh. We were actually able to go back there and make bandages yeah. and repair our stuff. It worked out it's really nice good. To have outposts. Okay, Caleb, we'll be back. We have to go. Oh wait, oh wait, we have to go make our pickaxe. I was gonna say we could harvest stone right here, but yeah, we need our pickaxes. Oh well, we could have gone. Let's go down that way. Where, how did we get up? We Let's can't see. go down that way. It's, yeah, there's, you have to go down steep. this little path. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, this little path. Yeah. This will take us along the river. What was that? Ants. Oh. Poisonous mushroom, huh? Oh, I was chopping those down earlier. Oh. I probably <laughs> didn't pick them up. I'm bad. Ouch. Oh, I didn't even see that ant. My finger hit the hit the key. Oh, there's another one. Hey, 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 settle down, settle down. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is he coming to help? You're a little late, buddy. We have our little outpost here. We just collect as... Oh, that's an ant. I thought that's wood. Yeah, right here. Here's our outpost. So let's make our pickaxe and harvest some stone and then go back and see if Caleb can make us... Uh, first thing is do repairs. So go up here at the top and there's a repair button. Torch. All of these say no resources cost. If things aren't badly repaired, I like that. Okay, I'm all repaired. Uh, we need to mandibular pickaxe. I made one. Are you able to make yours? I need a mandible. So okay. could you put Let a mandible in the box, please? Throw a mandible in here. Oh my gosh, I've got eleven. Wow. And I think if we have some ant heads, I think we can skewer them and make ant skewers. Yes! Those are really good for your hunger. And beetle sausage. Yum! Because we were killing beetles on our way over here. Because we need chitin. We need to make sure we always have chitin uh, to be able to... Um, repair our axes yes. that we made, our crude axes. But in the next video, I think this is what we're going to do. I haven't talked to Steffi, but I'm thinking she probably will say it's good. We need to go down here and talk to Skady and go in here. This is where the flint is. We need to go down and start gathering flint because that's when we get our flint sword and our flint spear, that's when we can have some better Oh, yes. It'll be so much better. We can make a pike. We can make a better sword. It'll be yes. awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put my my uh, mandibular pickaxe where it belongs, and I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's head over to Caleb. He's not far. 
That's our little bridge down there. If you watched the first episode, we made a little bridge coming over from the burrow. Yeah, it's perfect. And it's can... nice. We haven't been over there yet. We haven't been back and forth yet. Haven't needed to. It'll definitely come in handy when we need it. Yeah. Well, you can go in the water right there, but you don't. Did I pick up the wood? I guess I did. But it's so much easier to have a bridge. We're not going to talk about it, Steffi. Mm -mm. I just... <laughs> nope, you promised. I promised. Okay, Caleb, would you mind making me a mask? I think we need to make, get stone first, don't we? Oh, good grief, Steffi. I'm too excited. Let's go down and get us some stone. There should be quite a bit of stone around here. <laughs> uh, that stone you can't harvest. Um, let's see. I know there was stone on the beach. Let's try this one. I didn't pay attention lots of how stone much down we by the mine. Yeah. Oh, here's several over here. Do you remember how much we needed? Nope. Okay, so all we have to do is go in our codex. Go up to Caleb. And look at the mask. So we need eight stone. I'm getting three stone per rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I wonder if you get more, if you have a better, like when we get our... I don't know if you get a flint pickaxe. Let's see how many I have. Of course, we need... I've got ten, but we need stone eventually. We're going to need a ton of stone eventually. <laughs> if we make our stone foundations, so it won't hurt to have a little extra, but... Just gather up some of this. One more and I'm ready. All right. Are you ready? I'll meet you there. Okay. Can we both talk to him at the same time? We can. Okay, stone mask. He made us one. Okay, so we were talking about it when we were testing. We were like, hopefully, they're going to fix it so that we can hide our mask. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> yeah, it's not pretty, guys. I thought it's cute, I guess. Nope, it's not even cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But we will deal with that. That's... Yeah, if that's our worst thing to complain about. So hopefully they will listen. I think they do. There's The devs seem to really care about the game. Yeah, they do. They but I think really we're going to end this little video right here, guys. I do appreciate each and every one of you so very, very much. What do we? What should we do in the next episode, Steffi? Go down and talk to Skatey? Yeah, we need to go talk to Skatey. So She's we, and then the we lady need to go get with... Some flint. What does she have? She has some pretty fur armor, doesn't she? She has the bee. She's no, the bee. she's not the bee armor. I she's can't not? remember. Who's the I bee can't... armor? Mm, not Skatey. You're thinking of Dush, Dush, Durstana? Oh, I think, okay. I, I'm ready to go. Whatever she has. <laughs> well, first we're going to go back up to our house. We're going to repair everything. We're going to make sure we have plenty of food. But in the next video, we will see you later, guys. Yeah, be sure and like and subscribe and press that notification bell so you can be notified of all of Zadir's videos. Bye for now. Bye, guys.